guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing these two foraging toys right here. So they're not super similar, but I can't think of a way to review this one by itself because it's sold as a foraging toy, but it's not really a foraging toy. Uh, I'll kind of get to that in a minute. But anyways, this one here is called a knot nibbler, and it's basically just a bunch of these little colored logs. Uh, put together with these little orange colored sticks and it has a wooden bead in the middle and some of them will come with a net in the middle uh, Honestly, those are my preferred ones because the rats have more of an incentive to get inside uh, I used to use those all the time with hamsters now that I have rats I don't use them nearly as much, but they're still pretty cool They are very nice because the rats can just chew them up uh, it's a little different from most of my foraging toys because most of mine are made from acrylic or some sort of pretty indestructible material. But in this case, it's actually something that's meant to be destroyed and it's nice to give them something that's a little bit different and that they're allowed to chew up. Or I shouldn't say allowed, but that they're meant to chew up. That is pretty much what this toy is. I mean, you give it to them and they chew it up and that's that. Uh, if it has a nut in the middle, they'll chew it up to get to the nut and then they'll eat the nut. Uh, in this case, it has a wooden bead, like I said, so I would just put some Cheerios or something in there. It's a bit difficult because the holes are a little bit big for Cheerios and other treats, but for the most part, it's just one of those toys that's more meant for them to chew up on their own time. The only downside I'd say to this toy is that, like a lot of these colored wood toys, if it gets wet, it can kind of bleed color everywhere. Uh, so if they pee on it, you might see some of that color coming out. Now the other thing here, which I have conveniently put yogurt on so that Bean will actually interact with it, is basically just a bird toy. Uh, again, like I said, it's advertised as a foraging toy, but it's really just a bird ring toy. They can push the rings back and forth, and they can chew them up. And the same goes for the rats. They can push the rings back and forth, and they can chew them up. Now, like this one, it has the problem of if it gets wet, it can bleed some color everywhere. But for the most part, it's just a cute little toy. Uh, I've actually used it way more for trick training. I've taught my rats to push the rings back and forth. Oh, you can kind of see the color bleeding from where I put yogurt on it. But other than that, sometimes I'll leave it in the cage and the rats will chew on it. You can see they've chewed some here. Uh, I haven't had it in the cage recently, but they've chewed a little bit on it from time to time. And it's just a fun little thing. It can add some color to the cage, and that's pretty much that. So yeah, these two are some fun toys. Uh, I won't say they're my favorite, but they are still nice toys to have in the cage, and at least in the case of this one, it's pretty inexpensive. I can't remember how much this one was because I got it a long time ago. Honestly, I'm not sure if I can even find it anymore, but like I said, I just wanted to go over it real quick because I think it is a cute toy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And as always, I hope you have a happy Friday. Bye. So they aren't super similar, but I can't really think of a way to review this one. Oh, wow. Yep, so that happened. I just spilled water everywhere. Okay, give me a minute, I will be right back.